looking at those, we should have three reds, two greens, two reds rotating. with thee. Blessed art thou amongst her, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hour of our death. Amen. How's it going? We might just make it. More. How are you? I am all thank you. Great day to be alive. Reggie. Three. Scarlet, look at the smile. Thank you for doing that. Thanks for doing that. It's a blessing. You're the best.
in the cabinet with the books. It's the big one. It says Roman Missal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Jesus Christ, only be Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God. 
God in the highest and on earth be to be full of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of the Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant it from by faith, brought to the universe to thy glory, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit, God, reverend. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines. And over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. The Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and pay him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stooped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. They opened their treasuries, treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, I know you look forward to it every year. The announcement, the proclamation of the movable feasts. No, dear brethren, that as we have rejoiced to the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, so by leave of God's mercy, we announce to you also the joy of his resurrection, who is our Savior. On the 22nd day of February will fall Ash Wednesday, and the beginning of the fast of the most sacred Lenten season. On the 9th day of April, you will celebrate 
with joy Easter day, the Paschal feast of the Lord Jesus Christ. On the 21st day of May will be the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the 28th day of May, the Feast of Pentecost. On the 11th day of June, the Feast of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. On the third day of December, the first Sunday of the Advent of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom is honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. There you have it, everybody. You consider yourselves blessed because the poor folks last night and at 8 o'clock mass did not get that. So there you go. Now, um, so I have a ritual. I have a lot of rituals, but one of them is that the last thing I do at night, I pray before I go to bed, but right before that, I watch an episode of a 1990s sitcom, which is really when they stopped making good television. And I um, just finished Frasier recently. Now I'm on Home Improvement. And I have watched each episode of Home Improvement, I don't know how many times, but I just love it. I'm on season one, and this is good. And the, uh, two days ago, I'm, I'm watching my nightly episode, and it was the, the episode where Jill accuses her husband, Tim, of never coming up with a thoughtful gift. And so um, Tim is bound to come up with something thoughtful, and he goes to the neighbor, Wilson, who knows all the things, you know. And Wilson is, he says, let me tell you a story, Tim. He said, there was a young man in Africa, and this man, this young boy, wanted to give a present to his teacher. And so he didn't have any money, so he went on a two-day journey to the ocean, and he picked up a handful of sand, and he walked two days back, and he gave it to his teacher, and he said, thank you for being my teacher. And she was so moved by the gift. But she said, you walked so far. And the boy said, the journey is part of the gift. And made me to think about my good friend, Father Aaron Foshi. He, he's a priest of the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City. We were but, real good buddies in seminary. And um, he's come here a handful of times. And, but he'll drive from Oklahoma City to Shelbyville, and we'll have a dinner. A couple other priests will come over that we were buddies in seminary, and, and then he'll leave the next morning at like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, Foshi, you're crazy. Like, that's a long way to go for a dinner for one night. And of course, we make use of the cigar time and all that, but you know, like, I just think that's a long way, but that's part of the gift, you know. Well, I'm thinking about all this with the wise men, the magi, the three kings, you'd like to call them. They journeyed hundreds and hundreds of miles to Jesus. And their journey was part of the gift. In fact, that journey was the greatest part of the gift. Jesus was not as interested in the gold, frankincense, and myrrh as he was in the fact that these, these magi were there with him. And that these magi came to him in crazy journeys, perilous journeys, risky journeys. Can you imagine how hungry they must have been, how thirsty, and all those days and weeks, probably months that they spent on their way to Bethlehem. Melchior came from Persia, Caspar came from India, Balthazar came from Arabia. They came from different directions in these crazy journeys all for Jesus, for love of Jesus. And their journey was part of their gift. It was the biggest part of their gift. And their presence was more important than their presence, okay? And, and I just got to thinking about, like, where there is true love, we don't calculate. We don't, we don't even calculate what it's gonna cost. We don't calculate risk. And, and possible this or that or the other thing. It's love and that drive 
brings us to do anything for the beloved, and our beloved is Jesus. Our first reading said that you will, should have hearts throbbing and overflowing, and that, that our hearts should be like that for Jesus. Think about, that's my prayer, is like, Lord, give me an ounce of, of the zeal and the love of Jesus that the Magi had. That, that inspired them and sustained them on that amazing, those amazing journeys, you know? And give me some of that zeal, give me some of that love that doesn't calculate, doesn't think about risks or anything. It's all for Jesus. Well, I got to think about all that and how the beautiful thing about Christmas, right, is that we celebrate that God isn't just above us in heaven, that God comes to us here and that that the incarnation means that the God of the universe is here, here, with us, and that Jesus is present in a million ways. And we're called to be like the wise men, to journey to him in our daily life. And I got to thinking about just some ideas of where Jesus is. Jesus is in, of course, our adoration chapel. And we don't have to go across the desert for a thousand miles on a camel to adore Jesus like the wise men. We just have to get in our car. And so I want to invite you all, if you don't have an hour in our chapel, to please get one. You, don't have, you can look in the bulletin and find the open ones. If none of those work for you, pick a different one. Just because there's already a person in that hour doesn't mean that other people can't also be for that hour. But I find that you have to make a commitment or you won't go. And I find that for me, you know. And so, Jesus is in our chapel waiting to be adored and praised, and, and he wants your presence more than he wants your stuff. He wants you, and we give him us in the chapel. Jesus is in the poor. St. Francis called the poor the eighth sacrament. Do we make journeys to reverence Jesus in the poor? A holy man once said, a holy priest said, it's not enough to throw money at the poor. You have to touch them. Jesus is in them. And so, do we make journeys to Jesus to love, serve, and embrace our Lord in the poor? And what does that look like for each of us? It's something to pray about. Jesus is in the scripture. He is the word made flesh. He's in the catechism. He's in every letter of church teaching. Do we journey through it all? When we struggle with something, do we journey through it? and say, let me, let me seek some wisdom here. And, and not just to think that we know better, right? Like, but do we journey through the beautiful texts of our church, of Jesus? Jesus is in our family members, our estranged family members and our non-estranged family members. Do we make journeys to visit him there? Jesus is in our beautiful children? Do we, do we happily undergo our journeys to the grocery store and the doctor's office and the practice and the games and all of the, the haircut appointments, all the many things? Those are sacred journeys. And Jesus is praised and served and loved there when we do them not as a burden, but whatever, like as, as a, like I'm finding Jesus here. Jesus, of course, is it the Holy Mass? Are we prepared? Have we already resolved to never, ever, 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 ever miss a Sunday Mass? Knowing that when we come to the Holy Mass, we come to where Jesus gives his body, blood, soul, and divinity. That this is where Jesus meets us and we meet him and become one together. And you see, it could be easier to stay at home easier to go do some errands, scratch them off the list. But for love of Jesus, like those wise men, we must do anything. By the journey of the wise men, what we're ultimately telling Jesus is that I will do anything and everything for you. I will do anything and everything. No matter what, no journey is too big for you. I will do it all. Think of those journeys of the saints. That's beautiful. I just going to end with um, <laughs> St. Andre Bessette was the miracle man of Montreal. We had his feast day two days ago. He was the doorman at this church in Montreal, Canada for 41 years. And 
people, hundreds of people, thousands of people in the course of all those years, like he had a reputation of like, if you're sick, you go to this guy, he'll pray over you and you'll be healed. And, and crutches, bottles of pills and all this stuff. It's just like the miracles that God worked through this guy is crazy and it's awesome. It's real. And, but at the end of his life, St. Andre Bassett, he said, it's funny. All those thousands of people who came to me, they were all asking for something. They wanted something. They were called to be like the wise men to give, right? But he's like, they, they all wanted some healing or something. And he said, nobody ever asked me for more holiness, for more love, for more zeal for Jesus. And he said, that's so much the more important thing than a leg that works. You know, and so when we go to Jesus, when we go to Mary, when we go to the saints, is our most fervent prayer, not for this or that thing or person, more holiness, please, Jesus, more zeal for you, more love for you, like the wise men. May their example inform our lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence, He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of God, and life everlasting. Our dear Lord, for the Church, that through our words and deeds we may reflect the light of Christ to those who are searching for direction and a sign of hope for those seeking to begin again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all nations' leaders may communicate in a spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation and reject war and the taking of innocent lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those being called to the priesthood or religious life, that they will have the courage to see that all the, 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 <laughs> the call through the end and find loving support from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our hearts may be filled with joy as we recognize God's many gifts to us in our faith, our relationships, and our blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor, the lonely, the emotionally disturbed, and those who need our prayers this day, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that like the wise men, God's light may guide us into the uncharted future, calm our fears, and help us to trust God's love and care for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for a renewal of prayer in our lives, that we may take time for God each day of the year and be attentive to God's invitations prompting in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jim Kinnett, who we remember at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord our God, that who merited to bear God and man in her chaste womb, may commend the prayers today in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Thank you.
something pure. I want to follow Jesus. Himself to share in our humanity. Thank you. Bless you. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are now offered not gold, frankincense, or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and, and received Jesus Christ. Through who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Reggie, when you turn the page, when I get here, I go, I do this, then I do this, then I come here, and then you turn the page when I say that. Okay?
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished offerings and sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially those in Ukraine, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, eternal with you in your glory, appeared in, the, in a human body, truly sharing our flesh, and in communion with those whose memory venerate, especially the glorious Mother of our God and Lord Jesus and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Please, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mr. Fee. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ and your holy people offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy victim, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Please to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with thine of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. John, Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. 
Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to rest. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Reggie, peace be with you. Good work, good work. The only thing I would tell you is when I take this off and go like that, that's when you kneel. Okay. Yeah, but you did good. You're doing good. Peace be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Christ. The body of 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 Christ. Body of Christ. The body of The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. May God bless you, Wayland. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 May God bless you, Claire. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. But may God bless you always. Body of Christ. May God bless you, Reverend Wayne. Good. good to see you. God bless you, Maggie. God bless you. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you. The body of Christ. May God bless you. May God bless you, the body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. May the body of Christ. 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 May God bless you, the body of Christ. <laughs> the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you always. The body of Christ. 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 God bless you, Ambrose. The body of Christ. O oh, Jesus, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament, receive our entire freedom, accept the whole of our memory, our intellect and our will. Whatever we have or possess, it was you who gave it to us. We restore it to you in full, and we surrender it completely to the guidance of your holy will. Give us only love of you, together with your grace, and we will be rich enough and ask for nothing more.
Let us pray. Go before us, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, many blessings, everybody, on your way out. Don't forget to announce in their confirmation preparation out at four o'clock at youth group six. Many other announcements are ready. On your way out, you can also grab a bag with chalk in it. It's the time for the annual epiphany blessing. And the formula and the prayer and the and a little explanation is in the bag as well. The short of it is, yes, we are like the wise men. We journey to Jesus every day and ultimately our journey to Jesus in heaven. But we celebrate that Jesus first journeyed to us. Blessing is a welcome you put on your door to invite Jesus to your house, which is a domestic church, a place of faith, love, and charity. And so um, we invite our Lord into each of our beautiful homes. Many blessings to everybody. I hope you have a lot. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth and remember that there is a uh, chicken dinner at the Knights of Columbus, which I for now got to announce until right now. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. said sing it. Thank you, everybody. That was a really good mask. The hearts. And hello. But I don't know.